I want to talk to you today about DEET and hopefully dispel any lingering doubts or misconceptions. Let's start with the name. DEET stands for nn diethyl meta -toluamide. I know it's a mouthful and it may sound a bit overwhelming, but so do the names of many chemicals found in nature and in products we use every day. So what is DEET? It's a colorless liquid with a faint smell that is an active ingredient in many personal insect repellent products found throughout the world. It was developed in the 1940s and starting in 1957, it was introduced for consumer use. DEET affects the scent receptors mosquitoes use to detect chemicals like carbon dioxide we exhale and lactic acid on our skin. DEET forms a vapor barrier at the skin's surface that deters insects, including adult female mosquitoes, which are the mosquitoes that bite, from landing on and biting us. DEET is effective in repelling mosquitoes. It has been recognized as such by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the World Health Organization, and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. DEET-based personal repellents have been approved for use on people when applied according to label instructions. You may have seen personal repellent products that contain anywhere from 5 to 30 percent or even higher concentrations of DEET. It is important to remember that DEET-based personal repellents are effective in repelling mosquitoes and that generally different concentrations of DEET relate to the different duration of the protection, not to a product's effectiveness. Personal repellents with higher DEET levels will last longer than those with lower levels. My advice to you when you are buying personal repellents is to consider your and your family's lifestyle and choose a most suitable product. And as always, when using personal repellents, it's very important to read the label and follow use instructions.